What's going on guys, today I'm bringing you a team death match in the Black Ops 2. I don't want to spoil the game for you guys, I will let you find out what's going on in this game as you move on. This game was really after a really long break, so it's good to be back now and play Black Ops 2 again till the end of this month. What I really like about this gameplay is how it started up and how it ends up toward the end was really awesome ending there. So I'm really excited to do this commentary for you guys in this gameplay that I had. The weapon that I have used in this game is, is a SWAT 556. You can imagine how good it is. It's really a beast. The rate fire and everything about this gun is really cool. I've been playing with this gun for the last couple weeks and uh, I really like it a lot. I've played a lot of gameplay with that SWAT 556. Hope you don't mind me dropping by. No, Roger. Feel free anytime to drop by. Anyway, the attachment that I've used for this gun was Reflect Sight and Stock and Select Fire. Choosing a Select Fire is gonna help you if you don't have the trigger finger. Hey, Roger. Yes. What do you think about this weapon? Wonderful. <laughs> I thought so, Roger. I have a tip guys that I used in this gameplay, which is picking up a weapon from the ground. As you walk by, you can press X and an Xbox and you pick up that weapon. If you ask me how is that helpful, I would tell you, instead of have one primary weapon and another secondary weapon which is a pistol, you could have two powerful primary weapon without wasting a point, which you could use toward your attachment or your perks. I do that a lot to save myself a point that I could use it. And it's going to increase your reaction time because you have two powerful primary weapon, you can can you switch back and forth between these two primary weapon in the state of having one primary weapon and one pistol? I wouldn't say it's a useless to have a pistol, but I would say it's powerful to have a two primary weapon in your side. In state of reloading, you can just switch between this weapon and kill your enemy or finish him up if you the other weapon was empty. And you can easily give up on a scavenger perk. You didn't need a scavenger because you have the two primary weapon. The map that I'm playing is Turpin, which is one of the biggest map in Black Ops 2. In big maps, I usually play with the sniper to snipe the enemies across the map. But for this gameplay, I choose to play with assault rifle. So I have to be more aggressive in order to have more kills and build up my strikes because there's a lot of people hang out in their respawn so I have to rush them to get to their spawn and kill them. What matter is what type of weapon that you choose that fits your game style in that game. For a big map like a turban, I would usually go with the snipers but in this gameplay, I choose to have assault rifle in order to have some variety in my gameplay. I really notice myself every time that I get closer to my biggest strikes, I usually get more cautious about what, what I'm doing. I started to be more camping and more stuff that I keep myself protected from the back. I only go to the middle and come back. I don't rush their respawn if, if I get closer to my strikes. Like in this gameplay, I have orbital VSAT, so whenever I get closer to the orbital VSAT, I started to be more cautious and, and backing up a little. You. Bastard! <laughs> yeah, Roger, I don't want to rush their respawn while I have only assist left till I get my orbital V set. I'll play strategically to towards my street because I don't want to play like go to the open just in order to have that assist toward my orbital. So I, I want to be more careful about what I'm thinking of while I'm getting closer to my strikes. Because if only waited for this half minute, I will save myself time and get more kills because I get my orbital visa that I could rush them more. So you have to be smart, Roger. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. For the next month, I might not only play Black Ops 2. I'm thinking about playing MW3 or Ghost, but I tell myself if I, if I play Black Ops 2 and MW2 or MW3 and Ghost, I would distract myself from only focusing in one game. Because if I go back and forth in these three to four games, I will distract myself from only manage to maintain my skill in one game because there is a difference between MW2 and MW3 and Ghost and Black Ops in the gameplay. I don't want to change my game style back and forth in order to have variety in my videos. I think I'm gonna stuck with Black Ops 2 till the end of this month till the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare release date. As I said before, it's the 3rd of November for a pre-order. I really like how this game end up with. At the start, I thought to myself, I wouldn't use this gameplay, but it started heating up as it's going on. So I will let you enjoy the rest of the game it's gonna be awesome so don't forget to like and subscribe for my channel and see you soon